so this has been a big topic for a while. I, you know, if you just Google Diddy, you know, you get all type of stuff that comes up. Um, now he has things about his sons. Uh, well, I say uh, one of his sons. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't even look at it. I was just kind of, you know, just amazed at how much stuff was coming up on uh, Diddy or Puff Daddy or whatever name you want to do or Sean Combs, whatever name you want to go. Right. Um, a lot of stuff going on with him. Um, so let's look into it. This is Diddy. It says the sexual assault trafficking um, allegations against Diddy explained. So they talk about, especially in the 1990s, 2000, Diddy was a figure of enormous power, not just in hip hop, but in business and entertainment world. Um, recent in recent months, multiple people have sued him, saying he used the influence and wealth to sexually victimize and, in some cases, traffic them while avoiding consequences for decades. So, basically, there's a lot of sexual uh, allegations against Diddy. More things are coming out more and more every day about Diddy. Every single day I'm hearing stuff. I believe they even said it was a male producer that even tried to sue him. Now, if you guys want more information on this, I'm not going to read all of this. You can come here to this website and you can just go through and read it. Um, What I wanted to talk about, I thought was a little bit um, more important. For some reason. In the so-called black community. A lot of the times we tend to turn a blind eye. And what others do, and we put more focus and more emphasis when the person looks like us. Case in point, Diddy. We're hearing all these videos and stories about P. Diddy, and everyone's um, saying a lot of things. Um, I've even seen more videos specifically coming from a lot of black women talking about P. Diddy, Sean Combs. Wow. All these videos are coming out and people are saying different things. I'm just curious to the reason why um, no one has talked about this guy here, Uh, Chad Willer. This guy beat the hell out of his so-called black wife. I believe it was his wife. This guy was sentenced. No one talked about this guy. I wonder why. And I'll let, for the people who don't know about Chad Willer, Right. Because I know you know about Diddy. If you look like me, you know, if you're a so-called black person, I understand that you know about Diddy, but you probably don't even know about this guy. This guy beat the hell out of his. I believe it was. I want to say wife. Um, And this guy was sentenced. No one's talking about it. What about Vince McMahon? I did a video on Vince McMahon. Um. This guy has had multiple lawsuits. A lot of things went on with Vince McMahon. Guess what? I don't hear anyone talking about it. Josh Giddy Talked about it a little bit. But you know what all three of those guys have in common? <laughs> they don't look like you. And, and when I say don't look like you, I'm speaking to a specific group. So going back to Diddy, you know, there's a lot of people saying, oh, well, you know, I don't want to get into the whole race car situation. You know, what's wrong is wrong. Okay, let's go with that. If what's wrong is wrong, then you as a person should give the same attention to those other to those other three individuals, Chad Willer, Vince McMahon, Josh Giddy. I don't even see videos about it. I don't hear people talking about it. But every minute I hear somebody saying something about Diddy. And let's be very, very clear here. I am not protecting anyone. I'm not taking anybody's side. If somebody did, if Diddy did something wrong, he's wrong. Vince did something wrong, he's wrong. All of these guys, 
you know, if they did something wrong, they're wrong. Like I said, uh, the guy, he just went, they um, sentenced him, uh, Chad Willer. He beat the hell out of his girlfriend or wife or whatever she was to him, so-called black woman. I didn't hear anything from anybody. So let's not put more attention on Diddy and then just disregard the other ones because they don't look like Diddy. That's the whole purpose of this. Now, let me read you guys a scripture. Because that's what this channel is all about. This is Leviticus 19.15. Do not pervert justice. Do not show partiality to the poor or favoritism to the great. But judge your neighbor fairly. And that's what I want you guys to get out of this message. Again, I'm speaking specifically to the so-called black community. We understand that there's laws of the most high and there's also laws of the earth, right? But at the same time, when things happen, there's no need to over there's no there's no need to overlook the people who don't look like you and just disregard what they do. But then when somebody that looks like you do something, you you make it like 10 times worse. We have to have more respect and love for one another. That's all I got to say, family. This is Ari and the brother. One love. Shalom.